Oh, great stuff, that, eh? Just yeah, take you back a bit looking at those things. Have you enjoyed all the Duran days? I mean, obviously, there have been high and low points. What have been some of the really, the really good points that stand out for you? Maybe making some of the videos or something? Um, not so much the videos, actually. They were usually hard work. Rubbish. The, definitely, there was a high point at Brighton Dome on the first tour that we did after Planet Earth was released. Yeah. And the curtains opened and there was the first wave of Duran mania screaming at us, you know, and we all looked at each other and went, you know, what is that? Let's get off. Really? That, was, that was, you know, amazing. And, uh, and Madison Square Garden was quite a thrill. There must know? be a point where you suddenly think, wow, I don't believe this is happening. Yeah, yeah. really, yeah. Yeah, quite, yeah, quite a few times, actually. Did you feel that while you were making Planet Earth? Because I remember doing that, the very first Top of the Pops you did with you. Yeah. Um, I don't know, we, we kind of thought Planet Earth, you know, was going to yeah. be a, a minor hit. Yeah. It seemed right for the time. We were quite lucky, we timed it right. Right. Good, let's take some calls anyway, and you've got a bargain in there a bit later, haven't you? So if you grab either one of those, yeah, grab the brown one. one. And uh, we'll say hi to Melanie Jones. Hello, Melanie. Hiya. Hello. Hello, Melanie. I can't hear you. Why can't I hear you? My wires come out or something like that. Hello. Can you hear Melanie? Hello. 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 I can hear you if you shout. Okay. Right. <laughs> what do you miss most about not being with the other members of Duran Duran? What do I miss? Um. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. I don't really know actually. Um. Andy's tantrums, <laughs> um, Simon's sense of humour, um, Nick's taste in clothes, and, um, ooh, I don't know, Roger's drumming. <laughs> All right. Is that okay? Thanks very much. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye. Right, Leanne Murphy, I can hear you perfectly now. I've mended my wire. Leanne, good morning. Hello. You're through to John. Hello. Hi, John. Hello, how are you? All right, thanks. Why do you prefer living in New York to Birmingham? <coughs> Have you been to Birmingham? Well, yeah. Have you been to New York? No. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, if you went, you'd probably know. It just, uh, it suits me at the moment. I mean, I'm not going to say I'm going to stay there forever, but, uh, you know, if you want to get something done, it's, it's uh, got a good vibe there, you know? It's yeah. uh, a lot of fun, a lot of fun. It's very fast moving. Yeah. yeah. John? Yes? Can you blow a kiss, please, to my mum and friend Karen? Absolutely. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Did you get it? Yes, thanks. Bye. Thanks. Bye. The only thing about New York is it doesn't have a bull ring, does it? No, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, and we have <laughs> Justine Hall on the line. Hello, Justine. Hello. 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 How are you? All right, thanks. Good. John, why did you choose to make a solo single? I, 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 re I really didn't mean to do it, actually. I was just making a record for that film, and I had every intention of bringing somebody else in. I went through about four different session singers to do it, and uh, it just wasn't what I wanted. So in the end, uh, people around me kept nudging me, saying, well, go on, you seem to know what you want. Why don't you do it? So I did, and, um, you know, now I... A little bit more objective about it. I'm quite pleased with it, but uh, I'm not going to make a habit of it. Yeah, so you didn't really intend on doing it in the first place? No, I didn't, to be honest. Okay. Okay. okay thank you. Thanks. Bye -bye. Right, we'll take some more calls in a moment, but I know you brought a bargain a I certainly have. Because I've actually brought one of these uh, things, because I never won any uh, cross country medals or anything. <laughs> I get these things. This is a gold disc that was awarded uh, to moi. From the power station album, Super, that's lovely. Which I will sign. It's personally named to me. Uh, Great. <coughs> there's a bunch of the usual stuff in here. 12 inch copy of the record. Um, One 12 inch copy. Poster. Doo -doo -doo Moody poster. Yes. yes Great. Yes. Super. Oh, Marvelous. Okay. okay. You know, John Taylor good is in the bag, and this, which I think is superb. That's not bad. That one. Actually. That is really it's superb. Presented to John Taylor for sales of 100,000 copies of Alvin Power Station. That's wonderful. That's very kind of you, John. Mm. Super. And you've got a question, haven't you? Yes. A power station um, question. I'd just like to know what and where is the power station? Okay. What and where is the power station appertaining to the group, the power station? And uh, answers on a postcard to Saturday Superstore, BBC Television, London W12 8Q. This could be hanging on the wall in your hall if you can answer that. Where and what is the power station? Right, good. We'll take a couple more calls then. That's a super bargain. Thank you. Emma Fradley is on the line. Hello, Emma. Hello. Good morning. You're through to John. Hello, John. Hello. How are you? All right, thank you. Um, when do you run? get back together again in May? Mm. Are you going to give up power station in your solo career? Or are you going to carry on with all three? Well, no, no. Power station finished a long time ago. I mean, that was a one-shot deal. We just made the one album. And, uh, you know, we never intend to do anything else. 
has my solo career. I mean, I think um, I'm always going to be doing things independently of the group, you know. And uh, at the moment, uh, this is like a single, a solo single. But uh, no, I'm always going to be doing other things. <clears throat> I'm afraid I'd get a little bored if I was just playing the bass all the time. And could I have a close-up of your eyes, please? Because I think they're gorgeous. Close up of John Taylor's eyes, please. <laughs> okay then. And could you blow me a kiss, please? Uh, <laughs> they all want one now, I suppose. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Yeah, sorry, bye. We could only, sorry, we could only get two of the eyes in there. Uh, actually, we've got a couple more oh, yet. So let's drag Brian. Brian! Brian has been here just for the tail end of the morning and hasn't done much yet. Has he? He's been very, very lazy. We thought we'd drag him in here. Thanks, Brian. Brian, come sit it. down. Grab, grab a phone, and we've got a call on the line from Emma Tarode. Hello, Emma. Hi. Hello. We've Hello. dragged them all in here now. Yes. Hello, Emma. <laughs> What's your favourite piece of clothing? Uh, 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 Here, take this one as well. What's your favourite piece of clothing? <laughs> uh, my underwears. Yeah, Brian Adams' underwear. That's my, that's my favourite piece. It's a very of useful piece of clothing. I think we leather pants, actually. They're usually you like leather trousers? They're pretty adaptable, yeah. So what's your favourite piece of clothing? I have a pony. I have a pony. Oh. <laughs> you'd be so you'd have, we can lend her some. You'd be fun on a date, wouldn't you? <laughs> what about you, Brian? You're a leather trouser man as well. Time. Sorry? You're a leather trouser man as well. I uh, don't wear leather trousers, sorry. Uh, I just like my undies. I wore some last week. Right, Sarah Gray's on the line. Hello, Sarah. Too hot in leathers. Hello, Sarah. Hello. Hello, good morning. You threw to John, then you can have a word with Brian as well. Yeah. All thrown in for nothing. Hey, hello. Hello. Um, if you could be someone else, who would you most like to be? Ooh. Dennis the Menace. Oh, I don't know. Oh, the American Dennis the Menace? Yeah. We have a different Dennis the Menace to you, you know? Yeah, is he yeah. similar Yours in character? Yours has fair hair and ours has got black hair. Ah, is he similar in character? Similar in character, ah. you're naughty. Right. You'd like to be Dennis the Menace. Yes. What about you, John? Um, ooh, I think... Um, Yogi Bear, maybe. Possibly, yeah. possibly. Mickey Rourke, more likely. He seems to have a good life. Who would you like to be? I don't know, really. Um, probably Simon. Simon? Yes. Why would you like to be Simon? Then you could go around with John. Yes. <laughs> like, you like sailing, do you? Yes, I do. Ah, oh, uh, great. Uh -huh. Okay. What? Can I have a signed photograph, please? I'm sure we can sort it out for you. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Right. Bye. Thanks. Bye. 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 Sorry if you couldn't get through. I know lots of people who tried but couldn't. John, thank you very much. Good Pleasure. luck with the record. Brian, thank you very thank much. Thank you. That Good was really fun. You enjoyed yourself? Yeah. How excellent. long are you over here for? Just for a month. Great. Yeah. Okay. Well, have a good time. My adventure. John's here for about the same length of time, I guess. Yeah, usually. Right. right. <laughs> we'll back to say goodbye in a moment. First, here's Vicky. Oh, busy day, eh, Crow? Oh. Who's in then? Who's in next week? Well, I tell you what, it's a special superstore, Vicky, because we've got... Indeed. Now is the time to win! Are we?